hello students today we will take up another very important topic that is pronoun pronoun is used instead of noun pronoun is a word that serves in one of the noun functions pronouns differ from nouns in that they are never preceded by articles or other limiting adjectives a pronoun usually takes the place of a noun that has appeared earlier that is the pronoun makes a repetition of the noun unnecessary like nouns pronouns are also divided into various types for example the personal pronoun this personal pronoun is further divided into three first person second person third person first person comprises of i me we and second person deals with you they third person consists of he she it they them etc second is possessive pronoun possessive pronouns indicate ownership as mine yours his hers ours theirs these are however quite different from my his its our your their which are possessive adjectives myself yourself himself herself ourselves yourselves themselves are called reflexive pronouns when these words direct the action of the verb back to the doer these are called reflexive pronouns as for example he absented himself from the school we enjoyed ourselves at the picnic but when these words are used with the nouns for the sake of emphasis they are also called emphatic pronouns as for example i myself did this they are doing the work themselves fourth one is known as the interrogative pronoun who which what these are the words which introduce a question and function in the question usually as the subject or object of the verb when attached to nouns they act as adjectives this these that those such are demonstrative pronouns but these words serve as adjectives when added to nouns these are called demonstrative as they are used for indicating or pointing out some person or thing the next one is indefinite pronoun each every any one other another either several many much less few none nobody somebody they stand for unidentified or unclear identified person things or groups now next we will do the rules of usage first one says that do not make a fresh start in the middle of a sentence 
by introducing a pronoun which is in the same structural relation as the noun for which it stands as for example the boy who stood first he is my brother here he is not required so it can be removed for it simply means inserting another subject for the verb is when one subject boy is already there the boy who stood first is my brother so this is the correct answer a reflexive pronoun should not be made the subject of a sentence as for example ram and myself are studying in the same class so you will see that there is no necessity of putting myself ram and i are studying in the same class this is the right usage indefinite pronouns like each every one either neither somebody nobody anybody anyone should always be treated as singular and be followed by verbs in the singular as for example every dog has his day everybody likes him next point says that the indefinite pronoun one is followed by one one must do his duty this is wrong the right is one must do one's duty one must think before he acts the right one is one must think before one acts they should not be used as an antecedent to who and that those is to be preferred as for example they who are willing to go should raise their hands the right one will be those who are willing to go should raise their hands when the antecedent is such the consequence should be as and when the antecedent is same the consequence should be as or that this is the same book which i want instead of which that can be used this is the book that i want nobody likes such men who are dishonest so there is no need to put who nobody likes such men who are dishonest instead of this we can write nobody likes such men as are dishonest when pronouns are governed by preposition they are in the objective case there is a world of difference between you and i this is wrong the right one will be there is a world of difference between you and me pronouns following the verb to be are also in the objective case the wrong example is it is him that has broken the window pane instead of him we can write it is he that has broken the window pane the relative pronouns who which that must agree in number and person means that if it is i who am knocking at the ro- door who usually refers to person while which and that refer to animals and things however that is generally used after the pronoun it example it was he that abused me that is also used after the superlative or equivalent of superlative example he is one of the greatest leaders that were ever born a relative pronoun fulfills 
the purpose of a conjunction also therefore no conjunction should be placed before it as for example he offered me a drink and which i refused we can remove and because and is not required he offered me a drink which i refused a relative pronoun may be omitted when it stands in the objective relation as for example the boy whom you met yesterday is my cousin who may be omitted because it is here object of the verb met the boy you met yesterday is my cousin so in this way we can make use of pronouns instead of repeating the nouns